OSB versus sheetrock. Who's gonna win? We're gonna put it through the test. If you're building a garage, if you're building a shop, if you are if you have an RV and you're building a little garage next to the RV, what are those called? A carriage house next to an RV? Like a little, like an extended living, extended stay, right? Like a homestead type deal. OSB versus sheetrock. Ooh, did I put a dent in it? Now people keep asking me this question and no one really knows the truth. How much it weighs? What's the fire rating? Well, we're gonna figure that out right now. Now, OSB, like sheetrock, they're like the same weight. The sheetrock might be a little heavier, but it's like a few pounds. It's really not a big deal. Either way, weight issue on both, I, I would say they're pretty much even. Hey mom, it's the same hammer we had growing up. Check it out, I'm gonna use it in the video. Let's see how tough OSB really is. Hit it, went through it, almost. This is a small hammer. But it does, you can you can go through OSB, but it's pretty tough, let me tell you. Let's check sheetrock. Well that explains that. Sheetrock is not as tough as OSB. OSB might swell. Let's put it in water, see what happens. Water all over it. Let's throw a piece of drywall in there too. All right, let's put this aside, we'll check it out after at the end of the video. Sheetrock's got a lot more labor when you install it, but you can patch it. That's the thing with sheetrock. Can't do that with OSB. Don't forget the tape. Now OSB, ooh, yeah, that felt good. OSB to patch that, uh, you got any like wood putty or you got any, uh, you have any liquid nails? It's not gonna happen. Now if you don't have 16 on center beams, you're gonna have to use these. And these are called fairing or furring strips. I don't know, but they're boards, the three inch boards by one inch. And you have to put them right here on the sheetrock every 16 inches. If you don't, you get this. Bowing effect. You see it bowing? See it? Ooh, not that strong. You get the bowing effect and it will sag with humidity after a while. Now this stuff, OSB, take off the hat. It's pretty tough. It'll last you. You don't need these furry strips either. This isn't really bad to set up. You just screw them into the wall. Unless you have concrete walls, then you can shoot them into the wall with a gun. But by the time you buy all that stuff, and you gotta be a master measurer to measure every 16 inches, which it doesn't sound like a big deal, but when you're putting up 100 of them, it's a big deal. Because if you're off, they never they never meet at the joint. You can put this on your walls, concrete block walls, or wood frame walls. It might be probably a little bit easier. It's less maintenance. You just put it on, you give it a coat of paint, and that's it. Sheetrock, you're gonna damage it a little bit. Probably better off if you're in a workshop to use this. But maybe not. Let me tell you why. Sheetrock has about 30 minutes fire rating. You can put a torch to it for 30 minutes. You'll get a close-up on this. Get a close-up. It doesn't burn. It's really hard. 30 minutes. OSB. OSB. Get it closer. OSB burns. This could be your workshop or extended living in your RV. Think about it, guys. It burns. It's burning. There was a flame. There wasn't a flame here. This is smoking. Now let's look at if it's a little torn up, like if you grab an edge of the OSB or the sheetrock. You ready? It burns, guys. It doesn't burn that well. Close up of that. Now look, OSB has zero burn time. Sheetrock, well, has 30 minutes. 30 minutes with 5-8 sheetrock. This is half inch, but still, I'll rate that at 20 minutes. I'll take 20 minutes, half inch sheetrock over half inch uh, OSB, nothing, zero. That's the ratings, that's what they go by. I don't make these numbers up, I'm just telling you. This stuff is total garbage when it gets wet. This stuff is total garbage when it gets wet. Drywall, eh, I didn't have it in there long, so it didn't really do nothing. OSB looks pretty good still. Well, let me explain something to you. It's not. I'd probably rate OSB a little bit better than drywall when it gets wet. Because drywall will fall, fall apart. It's like paper. This can hold up a little bit. So if you're going to build a workshop, a barn, a carriage house, or whatever, and you want to insulate it, you have to put something up on the walls. And I know budget is a big deal. Eight foot drywall. Seven to eight dollars. Eight foot OSB. Thirteen to fourteen dollars. You see the difference? This is almost double than the drywall in front of the insulation. Well, 
I'd highly recommend sheetrock. You can patch it, it's a lot less expensive, and you'll be happy. You'd, you'd be glad you did. If this video helps you out, guys, please share it, because I couldn't find any on the internet that really talked about exactly what the difference was between OSB and drywall. And subscribe. And besides, if you're not an RVer, you might want to get an RV one day. Then you'll have to deal with plastic fantastic stuff. And that's a whole nother video. Legos and churros, you know you'll find us funny.